Hello, this is Pastor Mike Jones with Life Together in Christ Daily Devotional. And today we're going to be looking at a woman who was very persistent in uh, requesting healing for her daughter. And it uh, will teach us a lesson about persistence in our prayers and boldness and being courageous. But before we turn to that scripture, let's uh, open in prayer. Lord, we thank you for the stories you have in your scriptures for what they teach us about our faith. And Lord, we pray that as we look at the story today of the Syrophoenician Phoenician woman uh, and her faith, Lord, that you would uh, give us a boldness and courageousness as we pray. And uh, we pray that your Holy Spirit would open our eyes and our hearts and our minds to the truth in this scripture today. In your son's name we pray, amen. So today we're gonna be looking at Mark chapter seven, verse 24 through 30. Mark chapter 7, verse 24 through 30. And today I'm using the New International Version. Jesus left that place and went to the vicinity of Tyre. He entered the house and did not want anyone to know it, yet he could not keep his presence secret. In fact, as soon as she heard about him, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an impure spirit came and fell at his feet. The woman was Greek, born in Syrian Phoenicia. She begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. And Jesus said to her, first, let the children eat all they want, he told her, for it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Lord, she replied, even dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, for such a reply, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found her child lying on the bed and the demon gone. This is a, a very difficult scripture because in this scripture, uh, Jesus uh, seems pretty abrupt with this woman and actually uses the term dog, which is uh, a derogatory term. And um, he uh, seems to want to brush her off. And uh, so just for a little understanding, Jesus left the area that he was doing ministry in, the area of the Jews of Israel. And he went to a, a Gentile part of the country where there were no Jewish people, uh, non-Jews. And he was going there because he was hoping he would be able to get away from the people and have some time of rest. But the Gentiles had begun to hear about his healing miracles. So there's this woman who is Greek, a Gentile, non-Jew, who comes to the house. And she has a daughter possessed by an impure spirit. And uh, she approaches Jesus to ask him to heal her. And uh, Jesus says, first let the children or let the Jewish people eat all they want. Let the uh, Jewish people uh, have me first and uh, experience me and hear my teaching. And then, uh, because it's not right to take what is meant for the children, uh, not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. So it's not right for me to uh, take what I'm giving to the Jewish people right now and give it to the Gentiles yet. And uh, she replies um, that even the dogs under the table get to eat the crumbs from the children that fall to the floor. And, uh, so she was being very bold and courageous as Jesus tries to uh, brush her off. Uh, she doesn't have it. She comes back with a strong reply and says that even a dog underneath the table gets to eat the children's crumbs. And uh, so with that, Jesus uh, heals her daughter from a distance. And uh, so she, was, she could have left after the first statement, not received the healing, been offended, uh, walked away disappointed. But she persisted. And uh, I think when we have requests uh, for God, uh, sometimes we may wonder, would this be a request that he'll answer? Will this be a request uh, that God will care about? God doesn't care about me or some things we might think. Um, and in this story, I see this woman being persistent. And she may have been wondering the same thing. You know, I'm a Gentile. I'm not Jewish. Uh, will he care about my request? Um, will he answer it? 
And so when we have those same fears, I think we have to be bold uh, like this woman and, uh, and persist in our prayers. And uh, in the end, I think, you know, this seems like a pretty harsh story, but we have to remember that Jesus was uh, God, that he could see the future. And it may have been in this story at this time that Jesus understood. He knew the woman's daughter was possessed by an impure spirit, but Jesus also knew that he was going to send his disciples out and that they were going to bring the good news and healing and cast out demons in all areas. So it may have been that Jesus was willing to brush her off at the moment to get rest, knowing that eventually uh, this girl would have been taken care of by the disciples. And so with that understanding, um, it doesn't seem quite so harsh. Uh, maybe Jesus had a little bit different timing in mind, but the woman was persistent. And so may we be persistent in our prayers. Let's pray. Lord, we uh, ask that you would help us to be persistent in our prayers. And Lord, when we have questions of wondering, uh, will do you care enough about us to answer this prayer? Will you, will you listen? Will you do it? Uh, Lord, we pray that we would be courageous, that we would be persistent in our prayer, that we wouldn't give up. And Lord, we just pray that in all the prayers we lift up to you, that how they're answered, you would be glorified, uh, that it would reflect uh, your power and your glory and your love. In your son's name we pray, amen. God loves you, and I love you, and may you be courageous in your prayers today. Amen.